Welcome to the start of the Hawaii series, where we will be spending the next nine days exploring the beautiful island of Oahu and everything it has to offer. We are so happy to be getting up early this morning, coming to the east side of the island. We're right now at the Kualoa Regional Park, a very peaceful beach area with mounds right behind us and the ocean in front. And after this, we're gonna grab some breakfast before hitting up the Botanical Gardens, where we're gonna be spending most of our morning before checking into the Four Seasons. Okay, for breakfast, we are getting a little bit of an unconventional meal. Rather than enjoying the classic American breakfast like pancakes or waffles, we decided to go with a Hawaiian specialty, misubi. Mm. And we got this at Got's Grind. We got a bunch of different stuff. We got this, what's this called? Oh, the spicy something something musubi. Yeah, we'll put it, we'll put it on the screen what we got. The... A little combo with some with chicken. the some chicken karage mm -mm. and the best one like the is this pack. whole starter pack with six different flavors yeah so super pumped we're so hungry because we literally woke up at like 5 30 in the morning today and right now it's almost nine and we have not eaten a thing so i want to dive in and let's see how this tastes i actually love spam it's just that one thing that like it's so cheap, but mm -hmm. it just quenches all of your needs for, you know, like your comfort food. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of our meal, and then we will head over to the botanical gardens. We're here at the Ho'omalohia Botanical Gardens. This is one attraction that we really, really wanted to see while we're here in Oahu. It's beautiful because of the main Hawaiian mountains that we have here throughout the gardens. And right now we're at the lake. This is a main spot that a lot of people come to when they're in the gardens. There are five main gardens here. We're gonna see what we managed to capture, especially photo-wise, while we're here in the next couple hours.
we're spending the entire morning adventuring different parts of Oahu, really getting out there in this high heat. We are so happy to finally be checking into the Four Seasons Koalina. And I still have my lay on from check-in. We had refreshers. It was so nice being able to come into the resort and feeling so special. We also have these wristbands that get us into our room. And so now I'm gonna show you what the room looks like. So, of course, at the front we have our very friendly Nespresso machine. Jason and I love Nespresso. We have one every single morning at home. So this is like a piece of home right here at the Four Seasons. And here we are in the bathroom right next to the coffee station. This is an absolute marble masterpiece. We've got his and hers sinks and the famous Bulgari staple amenities that Four Seasons has at all of the resorts. And after six hours of walking around in the heat, I am so excited to finally be dipping and soaking in this tub. But now on to the bedroom. The suite that we are staying in is the Oceanfront King. And as the name implies, we have a beautiful king-sized bed. And I love the fact that on these pillows, you actually have the Four Seasons logo, which is a really nice touch. Now over here is all your controls for the lights, as well as the Do Not Disturb. You know at most hotels, you usually have that little like pamphlet thing they sort of hook onto the door. Well, guess what? Here, you just push a button, and then you're not disturbed. What they also have is a different selections for pillows, as well as certain bedding choices. So you just gotta let them know ahead of time and they can take care of your needs. Here we have a wonderful couch that points us to this massive TV. This is probably the biggest TV that personally we have seen in a hotel room, which is awesome because we're definitely enjoy some content as we kick back and relax. We really do like the fact that they gave us a little bit of a fruit platter. I think that sort of adds that little bit of an extra oomph to the experience. But the best thing of all that takes this room to the next level is this view. How hungry are you right now? I am so starving, I'm shaking. Yeah, so you know that meal that we had at the very beginning of the video? Those spam masubis? That is all we had today. <laughs> and we literally got up at like 5 in the morning and right now it's already 7 p.m. So that is a long time without food. So we're really excited to go eat and then we're gonna do that right now. really good so this is a belladonna this is it means beautiful woman and as it is it's really pretty um, drink itself strong but sweet so perfect for me Today was another early wake up for us, so we came downstairs to the adults only infinity pool to grab amazing photos because there was a beautiful reflection of the sunrise. And one thing I love about the adults pool is that there's amazing cabanas right here that you can rent out. They have large TV, games, fridge, you can spend your entire day here. But because it was an early wake up, we're going to go grab some breakfast at La Hiki. No 
was much needed. 5.30 wake ups are kind of a pain, but I feel like it's pretty worth it because of the conditions that we got this morning. Absolutely starving. We're so excited to eat. The food looks amazing. Yeah, after this, we are gonna go for a walk. So I didn't mention this before, but there's actually four different lagoons in the Koalina area. Yesterday, we only went to one of them. So our goal after breakfast is to hit up the other three. I've got a spa treatment set up for me in the Naupaka Spa. It's a massage. I'm so excited because I am just sore everywhere from all the walking that we've been doing here in Oahu. But during these next 30 minutes before my treatment, I will show you around the facilities that they have here. Right now, I'm actually sitting in the an extension of the waiting room. It's outdoors. They have tons of these like enclaves throughout the property. But I wanna show you what they have inside the facilities, including the steam room, the sauna, the cold plunge pool. Let's get to it. For our final morning here at the Four Seasons, we decided to opt in for the in-room dining for breakfast. So Lauren, what did we grab? I grabbed the acai bowl. Jason grabbed this beautiful Japanese breakfast that we've never had before. Got our coffees, a pastry basket. His breakfast also comes with a green tea. Look yes. you, babe. Oh, it's just incredible. Our balcony is huge. And right here, again, with the ocean view, there is no better place to have breakfast. Now we're gonna enjoy this because soon we're gonna be heading over on a hike with a really fun tour company. We just started our morning hike with Keavi Adventures. Jenny, our tour guide, is taking us on the Miley Pillbox or the Pink Pillbox hike. It's gonna be a short but moderate hike as it's steep all the way. So wish us luck and we'll see you guys at the top. We're not quite at the top yet, but there's something I do want to mention to you guys if you guys are planning on doing this pillbox hike. Now, once you get about a quarter of the way up, you'll see a fork in the road. Make sure to take the path on the left. That's much easier and is much safer. The road on the right, it's a lot steeper and honestly, you don't save a lot of time. So right now we're just enjoying all these incredible views and they'll see you guys at the first pillbox, one of three.
We just finished the canoe ride and guys, it was such an unbelievable experience and I highly recommend you try it out if you ever get the chance to. But now we are ready to pack up and check out of the Four Seasons. This day has been literally perfect. But we're gonna leave the west side and head south to Waikiki.